Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas and I am here with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I have my assistant out here behind me on his dry erase easel, so we should be okay for a little bit. I just wanted to get this filmed for everybody so I could get it put away as usual. All right, so let's just jump right in. No rhyme or reason, because I'm going to pull right out of the bags. I found one more Zubaloos just sitting there by its lonesome self, so I made sure to buy that. I picked up a can of the nacho cheese dip. I've actually never had this. Um, my husband asked me if he could open one the other day. I said, sure and uh, I turned around and it was empty. So he ate the entire thing in one sitting. I picked up another one of the Golding Farms Honey Mustard 12 ounce bottles in this adorable bear that you can reuse um, because we have been getting the grilled chicken and cheese fast bite sandwiches. Uh, from Dollar Tree as well, the frozen ones, and the honey mustard goes really well on that. So we've actually been using more honey mustard than normal, and my son does like it with his nuggets as well. So Then I just picked up one of these Columbia pennies to have. This is an 18-ounce box. That's for honey? Oh, no, it's even more. One pound, what? eight ounces, 16 plus eight. Is that for honey? No, this is noodles. For honey? For us. Yeah, so 50% more free, um, a pound and a half. So that's really good. Let's see. I just grabbed a few rolls of paper towels that I have to get out of here. The uh, select a size. I always look for the higher, highest number I can find there because they range from 90 to 150 in the same brand. So I just grab whatever the highest number is that they have there. I picked up one of the David Original Sunflower Seeds and I also got, I don't know if it's in this bag or not, I got one of the, I don't know where it is, we'll come across it. So for now, it's just one bag of the David's Original. I picked up two of these 30 count foam plates. Quality's just fine and they are super convenient to have so you're not doing dishes constantly. I picked up one more pack of these like kind of compared to command hooks in the size that get that you get four. They have a smaller one that you get more, a larger one that you get less. Um, I picked up two packs for my mom the other day and I already gave it to her, but I picked up one more in case she needs more. She wanted to hang string lights outside. I picked up another two pack of these bubble wands for a dollar. We've been going through tons of bubbles. <laughs> I picked up a bunch of these Tootsie Pops, this Tootsie Pop bouquet. You get two, four, it looks like eight. Looks like eight in a bouquet. And I actually got this to add to my husband's birthday present, which is in uh, his birthday in just a couple days. But we, I actually had him try one of the Tootsie Roll eggs from Easter. Um, and he was like, oh, it's pretty good. And then he said, he rem he's like, not like I have lollipops often, but do you remember those Tootsie Pops? I really liked those, the combination, and that's what this just reminded me of. And I don't know. He got all nostalgic on me, so I picked him up one of these to add to his birthday present. All right, then I picked up two of these jumbo bowls, again, to give to my mom um, because she uses them outside in the yard for the dogs when we're outside. And she was, I got her them last year as well, last summer. And she was saying the other day when we were over there that they don't, she can't find them or something like that. And I said, they bring them out now. So I'll grab you a couple. So I grabbed her one. Um, a friend of mine wanted one of these and I found one and it took several stores. And even the store that I had purchased them at no longer had them. And I found one 
lone one sitting there so I lucked out I think these are flying off the shelves is the impression that I'm getting so one ice cube tray with lid and then you get a fill hole there so you never even have to take the lid off until it's frozen no spills walking over to the freezer and they stack beautifully without sticking together so a lot of bonuses here and it also comes in blue I've seen it in both I don't know where to put that okay yeah baby Give me one second, okay? Um, then I've already hauled these. If you if you saw in a previous haul, I went back to the store that had them and I actually picked up three more since I got the okay from my husband that he likes them and he'd use them for something. And again, even if he doesn't want the three, great addition to a car care gift basket for birthdays and Father's Day coming up as well. In case you missed it the first time, this is a three pack by driver's choice and you get two wax applicator pads and one tire shine applicator. So those are your two wax applicator sponges. And here is your tire shine applicator. It's a dual level sponge with the curve for the tire and this actually fits your fingers so you don't scrape up your fingers while you're doing the tires as well. Uh, so it's three piece for a dollar. And yeah, so I just grabbed three more. I picked up this table scatter from the graduation section, this foam scatter. They are different size stars and I got one in the black glitter with silver glitter and one in the black glitter with gold glitter. So I got one of each because I figured that would just be nice for some DIYs or wreaths or etc. So now I got one of each color. Found another one of these sticker books just laying there and again it had to come home with me this is the greatest sticker book on the planet and it retails for like I think it was like $12.99 is the price on here under the sticker I peeled it off once um, it's 800 stickers plus um, bonus postcards at the end too and it's just super super cool so I grabbed that Picked up one of these giant eight ounce tempera paint um, by Prang in the in the Crafters Square section. White is always good to have. Okay, then I blame Patty at Patty's Chance Halls for this. So she picked up this photo props kit. You get seven pieces. Um, this is the movie themed one. You get the clapper, 3D glasses, tickets, champagne, which I don't know where that really fits in. Maybe movie premiere. I don't know. And then popcorns. So she said she had bought it um, for her son William to kind of decorate his room. And then I was thinking this would be awesome in my movie room once she said that. So I will take the sticks off if they're attached. I think they are attached. And then just probably use some fun tack and make a little area of these movie themed things in my movie room. I picked up, I think just one pack of these bungee cords. You get six of them, two 10 inch, two 12 inch, two 18 inch. These are the ones with the metal hooks. They had the flat plaid ones with the plastic hooks. But in my head, I'm like, metal seems sturdier. So I just grabbed the, the metal ones. Last time I asked my husband for a bungee cord, he's like, I don't think we have any. I was like, what? I grabbed three more of these enticingly easy classic cheesecake mixes. They are good until December of this year, and they would still go a little longer than that. But I've been making them like crazy, making my own variations with them as well, using the Oreo whipped ins Cool Whip. I've made one with exactly like that with cherries on top. I have a apple pie filling that I want to put on top of one. And if you do make these, my recommendation to you is definitely put a lot less Cool Whip than they say or else it's just really too whipped. If you want it like a nice cheesecakey flavor, 
go go less on the Cool Whip and just keep tasting it till it tastes cheesy enough to your liking or else you're going to wash out all the cheesiness, if that makes any sense. Okay. I picked up a couple more, two more, I don't know where the other one is, of the Job's Organics this time. So this is all purpose for indoor and outdoor, good for beds and everything as well. And I, I grabbed three the first time, gave two to my mom, left myself with one, and I'm like, why'd I do that? So you only get eight, but these are the good ones. Not only are they organic, but they're for inside and outside. The other ones that they usually carry with like the 30 count that are non-organic, that's indoor only house plants. So th these can be outside as well. Then I picked up one of these for myself. And this is Armorol Extreme Tire Shine. Um, I used to use this way back in the day until I went way more expensive. Um, but I just figured I would have this for my, I like shiny tires. That never went out of style for me. And here are the other <laughs> sunflower seeds I bought. These are the Biggs Sizzlin' Bacon, which is my favorite, but I always break them up with the regular ones in case you need a change. And then from the Crafters Square section, I picked up two packages of this double-sided tape. It's really nice and thin, both in thickness and in diameter. So I figured this is really good for putting borders on pocket letters or anything like that and probably underneath your Dollar Tree washi tape if you're going to use it at all because it doesn't stick so well. If you use it, you already know that. So I just picked up two of these and you get a 33 feet in one roll. Then I picked up another two pack of these from the Crafter Square, the two fluid ounce pump spray bottles with caps um, for alcohols. And I also bought a whole gallon size of a liquid hand sanitizer from Ocean State Job Lot by me. So you need spray bottles to spray that. So I picked up two more. Then my stepfather asked me if I ever see this. He said they need more. So he explained it to me. He's like that rubber coated tie that you tie. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know once it's gone, it's gone. So I did pick up three of these flexible ties, the rubber coated wire to tie back plants. And that is going to my parents. And then for myself, I just picked up another one of these because they're great to have. You get a lot. You get a lot here. <laughs> you get the twist tie with the cutter included, and then you get a whole nother pack in here. So it's 75 feet. So I grabbed that. Then I picked up, oh, I have to re-glue that. There was clearly a spot of glue in there right there, but it's still detached. I have, somebody help me. I know one of you will be able to help me. I bought this for my son. They were like sticking up in a cardboard display. What is that? It, it's a water gun. Which one? I don't know. We're, we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out together. So they were sticking up in the display somehow, either this way down or this way down. I don't really remember. Um, but they were just like this. So what goes on here? Can somebody tell me? Because it doesn't tell you. It says nothing. Is it like a water bottle? Like a... I don't... You know, it's got... So it's pulling from here, but... And I feel like whatever attaches here would be straight... I feel like this is missing... So I don't... I don't know. Is it missing something? Did I waste a dollar? Or do you put your own thing on here? Please help me. If you know. Somebody help me.
I picked up one more of these guys. <laughs> My husband handles most, most of the baths, at least the fun baths, like the sit there and play for hours baths for my son. I do the after, after I just gave him a haircut, quick kind of baths, or you peed on yourself quick, you know, the functional baths, business, business baths. So, but I bought those glass bottles from Dollar Tree a couple of holes ago, if you remember, and I bought it specifically for my son's bubble bath. So I had two bottles of this that I was pouring into those bottles, and it was the first time I ever really paid attention to it. Y'all, first of all, this is a 20 fluid ounce bubble bath, nice size. It is watermelon scented, which I never even noticed. And I'm the one who buys this all the time. It smells so good. It smells like watermelon bubblicious. 1,000% or bubble yum or whatever it was. But it, that's exactly what it smells like. It's amazing. And it is so thick. Let's see if I'll be able to demonstrate this. No, that didn't work. Um, it's so thick. When I was pouring it into the glass bottles, if it would start, like, if I started missing the bottle, because I didn't use a funnel or anything, you could actually, like, tip the glass bottle and it would crawl back in, if that makes any sense. Like, that's how thick this stuff is. Thick and smells amazing. And I was like, wow, the whole time I was filling the bottles, I was shocked. So if you've never tried this as an adult, I think you would probably love it because it's ridiculous. So just my little opinion there. But I made sure to pick up another bottle of that and it is distributed by Greenbrier. So your store most likely has it. All right, then I found these, which I thought was an amazing deal. And these are good until September of this year, but they are candy, they will go forever. These are huge 10 ounce bags of Sweet Tarts Sour Gummies. In case you want a screenshot. Huge, huge, huge and heavy 10 ounce bags. So I grabbed two of those. Then I think we're getting down to the end. Yep, we're getting down to the end. So I found a couple of books and then I found a wish list item that I never thought I would find and I found it rather quickly, which was shocking. So that's all we have left here. I purchased this book called Craft It Up Around the World, retailed for $14.95 US. And it says, bring the whole wide world into your home with these 35 travel-inspired craft projects. They are all fun and easy to do with clear instructions and step-by-step -step photography to guide you along the way. Plus, there are fun facts about the countries that are featured in the book so you can learn cool things while you're crafting. So we got a mosaic mirror, mosaic tile mirror. And that's from India. This a Tame Your Dragon, a paper dragon. Saving snow for a snowy day from Finland. Just all fun little things. Howard's Treasure Hunt bottle. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Look at that. Can you see? I know the lighting is like dark. Look at that. Hmm. Oh my gosh. So yeah, just super, super cool things. And then I got two copies of this book. So I thought one would be really nice for a gift. So this retails for $24.95 US. And it says a year between friends. So it says 3,191 miles apart. Crafts, recipes, letters, and stories. So I just thought that I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even flip through it in the, in the store. I heard enough and it looked good to me. 
I think it's an awesome, awesome book. So I grabbed two copies of that. All right. And the very last item, guys. No, I'm sorry. There's one thing sitting in my very last item. So we're almost there. I found this. You have no idea. I contemplated this thing so hard. I was like, am I getting this? Am I not getting this? I don't even know. And something... I don't know. I feel like there was another sticker underneath this. And I'm really wondering like what it was. If it's, I don't know if it's from somewhere else, but it's this really heavy duty. And this was not with the candle holders and stuff. This was with the plates in my store, you know, which are in two completely different sections, but it's this really nice, super thick. If you can see that heavy duty dish or bowl, I don't know. And it's, it's oval shaped. So I was intrigued by it. I don't have a current use for it. Obviously, makeup brushes, pens, etc., things like that. And then I was thinking, you know, you could put some just candy in it. You could put nuts out at a party. Um, you can use those scenty little gel balls in here and put this somewhere. So just, or do a little flower arrangement with some glass beads on the bottom. I don't know. Shells. So, but I was like literally like this in the store. Because I couldn't decide. I'm like, do I want? Do I want? Do I need that? Do I want? One of those. But then I'm like, oh, whatever. Whatever. Theone, just get it. So I got it. Because I just it just called to me. That happens sometimes. All right. Now the last item. Okay. Are you ready? So this says made in China. Signature housewares incorporated stoneware large colander in ivory that's what it says on the bottom this is a ceramic um, and it looks it has like a um, burlap imprint or burlap or, or canvas imprint you can see the glaze drips which is probably why it ended up at Dollar Tree not really sure but Look at how amazing and these beautiful little handles. So it is this ceramic colander, glazed colander. And I found a few and I cannot believe it. Because think of how nice these would be for gifts with maybe some kitchen utensils or a, a pack of like gourmet pasta. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous. So thrilled to death that I found it because I did not ever think, I thought it was a complete fluke item and that I would never find it. So that is going to do it for, oh, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, I'll come help you now. I have to go draw. So this is another huge haul. And thank you all so much for hanging out with me yet again. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. If you have not hit that subscribe button and become a permanent part of our family, we would love to have you. And we have a lot of fun here. So I love you all very, very much. And I'll see you soon.